to a swing down for this one, and it's usually fights at around 113 kilos. They have sped him up. They have slimmed him down to 109. And have a look at the stare down here from Badahari. The Moroccan bad boy could beat the sun in a staring contest. Three by three minute rounds. Three judges ringside are scoring on a 10 point must system. A win is decided by KO, TKO or judges decision. Three knockdowns in one round and you are out. This is quarter final number one of the fields. K1 World Grand Prix from the sold out Yokohama Arena in Japan. Ertz versus Hurry. For the right to go through to the first semi final. Yeah! After all the talk, we are finally ready to get it on. Peter Ertz in the blue and red, but a hurry in the black and red. Hurry opens up straight right hand. Nice jab outside, thigh kick from Hurry. Tags him! He tags him! Left hook from Hurry on the attack early. Peter Ertz in trouble. But a hurry's opened up like a house on fire. The big come off. Ertz is down. Harry is looking to finish him. I said there'd be no feeling out process. Look at the extension. Look at the reach on Harry's punches and the sheer power that he generates. Yeah, but Harry, you know, generates an enormous amount of knockout power for a seemingly uh, not a very bad, big body frame that he has. Uh, you know, it can be kind of deceiving. And as you can see, Badahari is doing exactly what. Uh, Ernesto said he should be doing, and it's coming out aggressive and not letting Peter settle in uh, to his uh, game plan. Well, but a hurry more combinations than a McDonald's menu here in the first round, and Ertz is in a whole lot of bother. Catches the kicking leg, not permitted under K1 rules, that Muay Thai technique. One minute 36 remaining here in the first round of three. Peter Ertz may be cut under the right eye. Hurry turns him around, looks for the uppercut, throws the right cross up the centre corridor and brings it back to centre ring. Old generation versus new generation and at the moment the old generation is getting pounded on. But do not write off Peter Ertz when it comes to heart and when it comes to resilience there's no one quite like Mr K1. Yeah, and I think the true question is not can Peter Arch take punches from Badahari, but can Badahari take punches from Peter Arch? Um, and Peter seems to have regained uh, uh, his composure and, and is more or less back into this fight. Beautiful looping left hand sneaking around the back of the glove of Ertz. Ertz with a rib kick to the upper left side of the carcass. It has been Badahari's round so far, but he seems to have slowed now, and it allows Ertz to come on the front foot, really, for the first time in this fight. You know, one thing to say here, and Ernesto, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. you have to admire Badahari's experience, even though he's, you know, relatively, compared to Peter Arch, of course, you know, he's relatively new to K1, but he's kind of seasoned experience. You know, he comes out, he hurts Peter, yeah. and he yeah. goes after him, but once he realizes he doesn't seem to be knocking him out, he kind of slows back, you know, doesn't want to blow his watt all in yeah. the first round. Yeah, he does that very right. And he, he also looks very strong, very, very sharp and very focused and everything. Yeah. Blood now streaming from the nose of Ertz as he takes another very solid right hand lead. Oh! Into the first round we go to the towels. Of course tonight we are employing the open scoring system that was trialled at the K1 Max Final on October 1st at the Budokan. The judges scorecards will flash on the giant screens here at the Yokohama Arena. Certainly, though, Ernesto, that's got to be a 10-8 a round for Badahari. It must be a 10-8 round. Uh, no doubt about that. Harry started very strong. I, he started ex exactly as he told me to do that. He told me he is too strong, too fast, and his, his punching power is too big. And uh, up till now, he is right. But he was not able to knock, to knock Peter out. So let's see what happened in the, in the second round. Right, I was just getting ready to say, you know, I think this particular round can be looked at both ways as A, of course, uh, a big victory for Badahari, both mentally, Take but is it? You know, because he gave Peter yeah. everything he could, and yeah. Peter's still standing. Yeah. So, <laughs> and I saw I saw Bada taking some some low kicks he shouldn't t have taken. So that might uh, have given him pro give him problem in in later in the in the tournament if he wins.
Second round of three, quarterfinal number one, first round 10 8, and all three judges' scorecards here ringside, and of course, unofficially, in our scorecards. And Ertz on the front foot early, that's more like it from Mr. K1. Chops the lead, Quadricep area, and again. And it's looking to fire the right hand and he walks into Butters straight right up again. Beautiful combination from the Moroccan. Uh, what Butter does very good, I think, is he starts very strong in the first round right away. Oh, the Lego Buster is tagged in! Spinning hook kick, the big kibosh! Ertz is down again! The spinning heel kick caught Ertz the jaw! It had him on rubber legs! And Butter Harry has dropped Ertz again! And it's pandemonium here. The second time Ernst has gone down. Hey. You know what Badahari is doing? You know what's expected? He's faster. He's just a faster fighter in this, and he's been able to land, you know, good combinations and solid kicks. What seems to be hurting Peter at the moment is the right hand lead. There it is again. The short popping left follows through. Badahari teeing off on Ernst. And Ernst backs up. High forearm guard. Just a slip there, says the referee, but Ertz looks to be in a bad state here in Esther. Well, right now he is, I mean, having two downs, and uh, I mean, he feels it, of course. Wild right hand just slipping atop the K1 logo there, but a hurry, a little over eager, just over extending on the cross. One minute 35, right hand smack bang on the kisser again from Hurry. Wants to go on the inside, perhaps work the rib cage, then pop the uppercut on Peter, and he does just that. Rib cage, right hand. Looks for the Schnoggen knocker, throws a left, backs Peter up a couple of paces. It's all over! Well, controversial call from the referee. He maybe looked at the eyes of Peter Ertz Ernesto and saw that Peter wasn't all there. I mean, uh, the referee, uh, I, 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 I guess he knows what he's doing, but uh, it's, of course, it's a, it's a deception for Peter. I can't understand the referee, he's, he, but they are both professionals. And he might should have tried to, to get it on. I mean, in Esto, this is Peter Ertz we're talking about. This isn't some upstart, some newcomer to K1. We've seen about. Peter take almost inhuman punishment yeah. and come back to win fights. Yeah. And obviously the referee not giving Peter the benefit of the doubt there. No, that's, um, well, maybe he thinks about his health. I mean, it's always, it's always controversial, this, you know. At the one hand, you think... Okay, the, the referee makes a good decision to, to save uh, the fighter for any, any more damage. At the other hand, you think he could have gone on. But you know Peter's going to be disappointed, Mike, because Peter Ertz is the type of guy that wants to go out on his shield. If Peter Ertz is going to get eliminated from the Grand Prix, he wants to get eliminated by being knocked out cold and not being stopped. What he will say is prematurely by the centre referee. Absolutely. I mean, I, I don't know of any fighter that's happy about a stoppage, but as Ernesto said, it's, it's always controversial when there's a stoppage. You know, uh, using a uh, uh, dream Aoki fight against Jay-Z. If that fight would have been stopped, Aoki would have never won. But Aoki went on to win. But, you know, hindsight 2020, Peter wasn't doing anything in this round at all. It was just getting, you know, Well, I think he was trying beat. to get ready uh, to come back into the fight. But as I say, what Butter did very well, he started at the beginning of the round very hard and uh, at a high pace. And uh, I guess it paid off. And he was keeping it up. So, yeah. being as it may, Butter is moving into the semifinals. And uh, Peter Arch is going to have to maybe well, try it next year. I wonder if Banahari has his sights set on Peter Ertz's record win in 1998 when Ertz steamrolled through all three opponents in only six minutes and 